This is Jeremy Tesmer with SGTV. Let's keep this just between us. Is there any more delicious promise? It is the promise of a really good secret, of sharing something personal, something that is rarely divulged. It is the promise of intimacy, of peeking into the world of another. For our newest exhibition, Santa Barbara County-based artists Wesley Andreg, Rafael Perea de la Cabada, and Maria Rendon have agreed to share a space with me, with each other, and with the world at large. Wesley Andreg works on his farm up near Lompoc, making a small army of clay creatures with bared teeth. Rafael Perea de la Cabada teaches at Santa Barbara City College and makes paintings and sculptures in a smallish space near the heart of the city. Maria Rendon is a brand new MFA at UCSB, though she has worked and taught in commercial art for over a decade. On its shallowest level, these three artists make work that has a real relationship to the history of Latin American surrealism. Artists like Frida Kahlo, Wilfredo Lam, and Carlos Merida come to mind. But this is neither homage nor pastiche. The folk tradition of making retablos, or devotional paintings that tell the story of a saint, also come to mind. Though these artists aren't thinking of their work in religious terms. This is something new. This is work born in the history of the artists themselves. It is their lives, their experience, mixed with imagination, run through with metaphors both rational and instinctive, and finished with enough abstraction to offer us the pleasure and the challenge of uncertainty, of ambiguity. Not that I mean to be ambiguous. These works tell stories, real stories, about love, loss, family, friendship, discovery, regret, and humor at life's ongoing parade. But we can never know the specifics of those stories. We can only guess at them. Wesley's sculptures seem to hint at the aggression and self-importance within each of us, but they also seem to lampoon those same qualities. They indict us, but they are also sympathetic. Maria's work hints at longing, at the roots of family connection, at the rootlessness of contemporary life but it also suggests the difficulty of making sense of our experience. Raphael's work also seems to tell stories about love and family, but his works also seem to suggest that the narratives we construct are piecemeal and incomplete. History is complicated. And that's the ambiguity. That's what's lost in translation. The sizzle of what's just between us both intimacy and insurmountable difference. As Raphael says, it is about the known unknowns, the things between us that go unsaid, suspected, imagined. Just Between Us invites you to come share in the experience. It will be up for June 2nd. Come see it. <laughs>